Hello and welcome guys to Believe in Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to set up merger FS and Snapred on Open Media Vault. In Open Media Vault, you can share one or multiple drives individually without any issues. However, it is better to have the drives combined to make one large storage drive and also have protection against hard drive failures. Now there are multiple ways to achieve this, but the easiest way to do this is by using a combination of merger FS and Snapdread. Merger FS and Snapdread gives us flexibility to use hard disks of different sizes. It also allows us to easily expand our storage in future with whichever drive sizes we want. This is not possible in many of the other RAID systems. Merger FS is a simple file system that takes many different drives, combines them and presents one large drive to the operating system. Further, if you are facing any issues, you can unplug any or all of the drives and plug it into any other computer and easily access the data on them. This is not possible on many other solutions. This diagram here clearly shows how Merger FS combines different drives and presents them as a large storage drive. And also note that all the individual drives have their own file systems and structure. So in case of drive failure, you can easily plug any one of the drive in other computer and copy all the files stored on that drive. This means you can easily start or stop using MergerFS without needing to format the drives. MergerFS can work even with two drives. However, SnapRaid needs at least three drives, two as a data drives and one as parity drive. Also, the parity drive needs to be equal or larger than the largest data drive. For this video, we are going to use three drives of 500 GB capacity. Two of them are going to be used for data storage by creating a pool using MergerFS and the third drive will be used as parity drive in Snapdread. This will give us protection against any one of the drive failing. You can also add more data drives for more storage capacity or more parity drives giving you more protection against drive failures. Now log into Open Media World Web UI, go to Systems, then Plugins, search for Major FS, then select and install the plugin. If you can't find Merger FS plugin in the search results, please watch my previous video on setting up Open Media Vault where I have shown how to install Open Media Vault extra package. After successful installation, refresh the web page and Merger FS should appear in the side panel. Also install Snapdread plugin following the same steps. Now we are going to prepare the drive for using in Snapdread and Merger FS. Go to Storage, Disks and ensure that all your data types are detected by the system. As in my case, all these drives are new, I am going to format and create a file system on all three drives. Please note that you should not do this step if you are using drives which already has data, as it will format the drive and wipe out all the data on it. You may directly go to the point in the video where I set merger FS. For new empty drives, click add button and then choose butter FS or ext4 FS as file system, then select your drive which you want to format and then create file system. Please be careful and select only those drives that you want to format. I have chosen ButterFS because it has some new features like snapshot that I can use in future. You can also set the threshold here so that Open Media Vault will intimate you if the drive gets full. Choosing the single profile here as we are not going to use the default Linux RAID. Rather we will be using MergerFS and SnapRaid to get similar functionality while also having the flexibility mentioned earlier. Repeat this process for all the new drives. After installing both the plugins, go to services, then snap red, then settings. The default settings are good enough, but I will change the delete threshold. This means that snap red will not update the parity data if there are more than the specified number of deleted files. It should be noted here that you can only recover deleted files till the parity data has not been updated. Since we have set a threshold, it will not run in case you accidentally deleted too many files. After this, go to Snapdread, then Drives, then click Create and select Drive as Data and Content Drive or Parity Drive. Snapdread is similar to RAID 5, which means you will lose the capacity of number of parity drives you set in protection against any one of the drives failing. In case of 5 drives, you can set anywhere from 1 to 3 drives as parity drive and have protection against as many drive failures. Here I have 3 drives. Hence, I chose to use one drive as parity and two as data drive. Click apply to apply the changes. You can also exclude some files or folders which are not important from parity protection. Now we are going to set up MergerFS. Go to storage slash MergerFS. Click create. Give the pool of storage a name. Then select the data drive from the file system option. 
only select those drive which you have selected as data drive in snapred setup as the parity drive will be excluded from the pool and will only be used to store parity information i have selected the two data drives here click save and then apply both merger fs and snapred have been set up now now you should see your new storage pool in storage slash file systems it shows the capacity equal to combined capacity of both the data drives you can use this storage pool to store media files share it with other devices on your network and back up your photos and videos from your mobile now we are going to share our server storage over our network for other devices to access there are two commonly used protocol for file sharing over the network smb or samba and nfs samba protocol is used by windows and most android apps nfs is used by mainly linux and unix based systems first we will head over to storage slash shared folders and create a folder that will be shared using both the protocols click the add button on the top and give share folder a name if you want different users to have different folders you can use the username as folder names here we then need to select the file system since we have created a storage pool already we will be using that for storage purposes you can also use a single drive here relative path is telling where in the storage pool do you want to create this folder in this case it will create a pool folder inside our storage pool leave the permissions to the default and click save and then apply now that we have created a shared folder we just need to share it on different protocols go to services slash smb slash settings and then check enabled leave everything else to the default and click save then go to smb slash shares click create and check enabled select the shared folder leave everything to the default and then apply for nfs go to services slash nfs slash setting click enabled then go to nfs shares select the shared folder you want in the client option we need to tell nfs server that which ip addresses are going to be allowed to access the shared folder we can provide one ip address to allow only one device to access this folder or we can provide a range of ip addresses to allow all the devices in a certain network to have access to this folder for this you need to find out our subnet this can be done either by checking the ip address of all the devices in your network or by going into your dhcp option on your router's web page usually all your devices on the network will either have an ip address starting with 192.168.1 or 192.168.0 and in these cases we will put 192.168.1.0/24 or 192.168.0.24 respectively this tells nfs server to allow all the devices which has an ip address starting with these numbers leave other options to default and then save and apply and that's it your share folder should now be accessible to other devices on the network i am also going to upload another video which will show how to set up file server on a windows system and also how to access your file server on other windows as well as android devices so stay tuned for that hit like if you like the video and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss my future videos